For most of the weekend, all eyes have been on Austin. And what is next for Ken Paxton? The Texas House impeached the three term attorney general yesterday, something he's calling politically motivated. But now he says he's confident he will receive a fair trial in the Senate. Political reporter Jack Fink is in Austin. He's taking a closer look at what's next. Should the speaker voting aye. Before the Texas House voted overwhelmingly to impeach Ken Paxton, immediately suspending him from his duties, both former President Donald Trump and Texas Senator Ted Cruz issued statements supporting the attorney general. The question is, how much of an impact will that have on Republican members of the Texas Senate who will be among those to decide whether to convict and remove Paxton permanently? Dr. Joshua Blank is the research director of the Texas Politics Project at UT Austin. Well, I think that's the million dollar question right now. I mean, ultimately, the senators are going to have to deal with this, the evidence when placed before them, but they're also going to have to deal with the fact that the president of the United States and a very, very, very popular uh, politician among Texas Republicans has come out in defense of Ken Paxton. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick has reportedly said while he will preside over the Paxton impeachment trial in the Senate, he won't vote. But Blank says Trump's statement is interesting given how close he is to the lieutenant governor. The lieutenant governor is one of the president, the former president's closest advisors here in Texas. And it's hard to imagine that the president of the United, the former president of the United States wouldn't have made a statement in support of Ken Paxton without the lieutenant governor being aware of it, if not endorsing it. One unanswered question, will Paxton's wife, Senator Angela Paxton of McKinney, recuse herself from the trial? Trump also issued a statement calling out Governor Greg Abbott, who's remained silent on the Paxton impeachment, saying, quote, missing in action. Where is the governor of Texas on his attorney general's impeachment? It's really not surprising because I think for the most part, most people, most Republicans in the state do not want to touch this with a 10 foot pole at the moment. But the five Republican House members representing Collin County, where Paxton is based, did take this issue on and all voted to impeach him. In a joint statement, the Republicans said, quote, this was an incredibly difficult vote. But then they also said, quote, it became clear to us that sufficient evidence indeed exists to vote to commend articles of impeachment to the Texas Senate for a full trial. Representative Justin Holland is one of the five Republicans. The top law enforcement official in the state of Texas should be above reproach and we can do better. So if nothing else shows that his position is significantly weakened even locally in his base. Is the brand tarnished, the Paxton brand? I think it's too early to tell. I mean, obviously, being impeached is a big event. Is it tarnished with the core constituency of Republicans and conservative Republican voters? And if so, and if that is the case, I think that many of his defenders are going to get a lot quieter a lot quicker. But in the short term, the next step is the Senate will have to set a date for the Paxton impeachment trial. At the Texas Capitol, Jack Fink, CBS News, Texas. Jack left a message with Senator Paxton's Senate office. As of now, he has not heard back. We also didn't hear back from Governor Abbott's office seeking comment. If you want to watch Jack's full interview with Joshua Blank, we've got that up on our website, cbsnewstexas.com. You can find it just by scrolling down to the section that is marked Jack Fink interviews. Stay with CBS News Texas. We'll bring you more updates from the start of the impeachment trial in the Senate to the governor's choice for a temporary replacement for Paxton. You can sign up for our push alerts through our CBS News Texas app and visit cbsnewstexas.com.